I always find it inspiring to go to new countries because you always get surprised by how welcoming people are. I mean, um, I mean, I've been traveling a lot in Turkey lately, um, and and I'm just amazed by how. <laughs> how much they know about Western culture and about how much they know about me and, and the type of music I play and, and I sort of find the same thing in, 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 in Poland. It's a sort of melting pot for, for different traditions, uh, for different um, for cultures at the same time. Uh, you sort of feel like you're in a completely new world but at the same time it's, it's, it, it feels like home uh, from the very beginning uh, and that's probably why this place is called the Halfway Festival because it's halfway to absolutely everything. It's right in the middle of, of so many different um, so many different cultures. This is a very unusual festival. Um, I, I, I mean I usually don't like festivals. They're noisy, there's drunk people absolutely everywhere. You play for 35 minutes and nobody listens to what you're doing anyway. So. Uh, so I, I find this very festival very special um, because it is a festival where people are actually sitting down paying attention the organizers are doing an effort to to make it a good concert the sound is brilliant the stage is beautiful and even if it had been raining it would be a good a good place to be so so this is this is this is something very special and I think that the always Duck should be proud of it Actually, my first concert abroad ever was in Poland seven years ago. Where I played in, in in Warsaw Underground Jazz Festival in 2008, and that was my first concert ever outside Norway. Um, that was really strange because I did I hadn't released anything, and I hadn't really been touring a lot. But the organizers had found my music on the internet on on MySpace back then. Um, and, and it's obviously a little bit the same now because I get recognized in the streets and people ask for autographs on all sorts of bizarre places. <laughs> um, um, and so even if I haven't been here ever, it feels like I've 